everyone, thank you for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that I am super excited for, and that is the film adaptation of the DC Vertigo comic book Sandman. Now if you're not familiar with Sandman, it is a very different tale. It is not a superhero story. Um, if you're interested in, in, in the, you know, the basic Iron Man, Batman, Superman, any of that, it's nothing like that at all. This is actually a very different, beautifully crafted graphic novel uh, or comic book series that was ran by um, Neil Gaiman, one of the, one of the, I honestly think, one of the greatest artists, period, uh, artists working today. Um, he brought, you know, he brought films such as Coraline, um, you know, and uh, Stardust were all part of his inspiration. And, um, but his greatest work were definitely in the books. And if you've ever read these in particular, are they are very enticing. You know, they're about life, about death. They're about these characters from supernatural places. I mean, a very, very wonderfully written and art as far as the art of the comic. Beautiful. So, I'm sure like um, many other people, they were very excited when Sandman was actually going to be picked up uh, to s picked up by director and star, who, I'm miswording my words here, but when uh, Sandman was picked up for an adaptation and when uh, J Joseph Gordon-Levitt was attached as star and director. Now, I really, I love JGL. I think he's a great actor, uh, and I think his t directing talents are, are good, and, you know, I'm really excited to see this movie because um, this movie is very personal to me, and I trust him. I, 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 it's very rare that I've ever seen a movie with JGL and said, wow, that was awful. Um, you know, I, I think that he has absolutely every capability to make this great. Uh, but today he had an interview well not today but he recently had an interview with MTV and in the interview he explained how you know even though we've heard that he's, uh, he's going to be taking over this project I'm sorry I don't know why I'm fumbling so much over my words today you know he explained that it's difficult, difficult to kind of have a to figure out how they're going to proceed to bring this movie to audiences as it doesn't really have a beginning a middle or an end um, because you know we know that he's directing and starring this film, but we yet we don't know the start of production. They don't have a release date. So we're kind of just saying, well, you know, what's going on? Is something having issues? But, you know, he addressed that it's just really hard to kind of figuring out a way to present the story. And uh, he described it as a quote unquote grand spectacular action film. And if you want to read the full quote with MTV, go to ChasingCinema.com, hit the news button. You'll find this video. Click the link below and it'll actually take you to the... Uh, the interview with MTV and he explained that you know this action movie is going to be very different than most action films and then he went on to explain how this movie is going to be a crazy action movie but our main character is not going to do anything you know really physical to anybody he said you know Neil Gaiman even said to him quote unquote don't have him punch anything because that's not what our character does and you know to me I hope JGL really listens to as much Neil Gaiman's input as possible because the man knows, obviously. I mean, that's those are his characters, those are his story, and you know, the man knows. I mean, the man is just a great, great creator, and a great artist. And JGL, I think, is super talented. I think he can really make this movie work. So I hope he listens to him, and I hope they follow that vein, and they really chase, stay true to the comics. Now, if they don't, it doesn't make it necessarily a bad movie. But unfortunately, you know, I hope they go far away enough where it's not trying to. They're not messing up with things. Because I've always talked about that. You know, when you take on a project, people care about it. No matter if it's a remake or a comic book, you are walking a fine line because it's going to be very hard to impress people. So if you're remaking a movie, make it different. Because when you remake something and do the exact same, you're going to fall short. With comic books, you know, it's hard to really... You know, it's hard... I mean, Bruce Tim made a comment about this today, actually. Uh, about how it's just people are going to complain about it because it's not exactly the way they imagined it. Me, I love Sandman. It's very personal to me, but I trust JGL to bring it to me in his best possible way. Now, I don't think no matter what movie I'll see, it'll be, I think like any reader, you know, any Harry Potter fan or, or any, um, you know, any other book fan turned ad adept in the movie will find the same feeling once I watch the movie, but that doesn't mean this movie cannot bring me on, uh, you know, a level of excitement and enjoyment either so 
Though I don't know if it'll be able to match because I truly do love those, that series. Um, I have faith, and I, I have I have great faith in this movie, but I want to know what are your thoughts? Do you think this movie has faith? Do you think this movie actually has uh, the ability to be as good as you'd hoped? Let me know down here in the comment section below. Also, make sure to like and favorite this video to show you support for everything that I do here at Jason Cinema. Uh, if you can, and if you don't mind, of course. Uh, follow me and Chasing Cinema's social media websites down below. Um, we are constantly talking about things going on and uh, writing reviews, video reviews, movie news, and we post all that on our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. That All of our information is available there. And it also makes this conversation a lot more intimate. Last but not least, please hit that subscribe button because each day we are constantly uploading five times a day to this YouTube channel uh, talking about movie news, casting details. Today I reviewed the trailer for the upcoming film Martian from Ridley Scott and Matt Damon. I talked about the box office report and uh, much, much more. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jacob Toronto. Please continue chasing cinema.